Can you hear me? Anyone there? All right, well, I'll just assume you can hear me. Welcome to my channel on youtube.com. I am Mishko, and this is a youtube.com tutorial for Photoshop by Adobe. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do something. <laughs> I don't know what yet. In okay, I'm gonna stop with the voice. In Photoshop. Um, so, okay, enough talking. I hate talking. So I start with a 10 inch by 10 inch composition typically because that's your standard like album art size. I do a lot of album art. Anyway, okay. I like a black background. Don't ask why. I don't have an answer, I just do. Um, and then, okay. A lot of y'all who follow me on the Instagrams and such know me mostly probably for my typography so I'm gonna start with that. Um, sorry, I'm not used to talking. I'm talking too much already. But, step one, you just type out something. I think it's important to do something that's really meaningful, personal to you, maybe conveys an important message you wanna share with people. You know, something that matters, something you can put yourself fully into. So, um, Let's see. Balls are great. <laughs> I love them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with that. I usually like to start with Helvetica Bold. It's like the most basic of fonts. Um, so you can just kinda mess with it. So start like that. You got it. At this point, I can go up here and change the tracking to optical so it looks a little bit better because it's not a huge body of text. That's what the other metrics would be for. This is more for, you know, signs and such. Anyway, so I'm good with it. So I'm going to rasterize that because I don't like it as text. It annoys me. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer twice. And I do that by pressing Option slash Alt and then just dragging. And then, okay. So do double click and it pulls up the layer styles. And right here you can see the channels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set each layer as one of the colors of the channel. So this first one's gonna be just red. And the second one, gonna be green. Third, gonna be blue. Okay, so now when I move them, you get the fancy color separation from channels shit going on. Fun, right? We love it. Just a little pop of color and such. Okay, so sure. That's what that is. Whatever. And then at this point, I'm gonna hide my background and then press Command, Alt, Shift, E. And that just makes a new layer from all visible layers. So now, boom, <clears throat> it's just one thing. Um, a big thing I do is like this color stretch shit and it's really nothing crazy. I just select the bottom of the letters, show transform controls, and I just drag it down. Voila. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do the channel oops, separation thing again. Cause why not? A big part of my process is just overdoing everything. So my theory, not theory, my philosophy is you can, I mean, you can overdo it, you, but you can just like fuck with things forever and just take them whatever direction you want. And it's fine. Like, I don't know. If you go outside, everything is fucked up. Nothing is perfect. So why should your artwork be that way? 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my favorite little tool, which is Liquify. It's so fun, love it. Basically, you just get to push around shit. So, I just kinda, you know, just do it. It's fine, you know, whatever. I don't like to overthink it. I'll kind of like do a move and then I'll follow that move. And then it's like, okay. And then I used the uh, bracket key. I don't know. You should just look up Photoshop uh, hotkeys because I'm probably not going to remember to tell you all of them. But that makes the size a little different. So there we get some more variation in there make it feel a little bit more like water or maybe like a VHS glitch or something. Okay, so that's kind of cool. It's a little messier than I want, so I'm gonna go up here and use the reconstruct and make that real big and turn the pressure down a lot. So it just does it a little bit and just kind of cleans it up a little. Ba boom! I did it to just the blue layer. Didn't even realize that. But I'm gonna then <clears throat> go to the next layer down and just copy that same liquify and just do it to all of them. And then, out of curiosity, I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I do it to this one again. It might look horrible. Not a fan, too much. <laughs> but then, since these are all channel separated, you can go to each one and kind of just, oops, move it around just a little bit. I don't recommend doing too much because it'll just start getting really messy and kind of gross looking. like, you know, shift it around. I might have done too much, but no. Nah. See, you start to get a little bit more depth in there. This just kind of adds more for the eye to just get lost in, I suppose. I don't know. I'm, my attention span is very short, so it's important to me that everything I look at is interesting. <laughs> if it's not interesting, I don't care. So I'm just usually f like to kind of follow the movements that are already there. So that way it adds more depth. Because if I just do it randomly, it's going to just look kind of gross. Oh, I was on the wrong way. <laughs> I meant to do it on this one. But, I just did it, so it should be saved. Cool. See, that I'm alright with. It's interesting. Okay. So then I'm gonna hide that background again. And just do that whole move the command alt shift E. So, now it's all together. And then, why not just mess with it more? Oops. I'm really good at clicking the wrong thing. That, see, I just did it again. Did I? I don't know. That didn't do anything. Can you tell that this is my first, like, tutorial ever? Um, I clearly am a professional. I think there's a good balance to be struck between like kind of complicated, noisy parts and having like a contrast of where it's just, you know, I'm like kind of flattening that out.
And then I'm probably not gonna like this, but I'm gonna use the twirl tool and just like, why not see what goes on? Honestly, everything I do, I don't know how, like, I don't have a plan. <laughs> I just do this. It's literally just, here's some tools I know, and then here's some, like, explorations I've done, and then, boom, there's, like, an artist style is born. <laughs> the big thing is just, like, have fun with it. Don't overthink it. Maybe that's cool. Maybe it's a lot. I'm gonna show the backdrop and just show the background. I don't like it, but <laughs> maybe I like it if I smooth it out. A little better. Maybe reconstruct it. At least, because I like some of it. There we go. It's really just like a guess and check scenario with this thing. Cool. So it like got a little bit of cool things going on there and there that went there before. Why not? Okay. So, I got this, it's okay. I'm honestly not sold on it at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a layer mask, and then I'm gonna go over to the fill and make it a gradient. And I'm just gonna make a fill, or like a gradient, whatever it's called, from about the bottom of the phrase to the bottom of the image. And then I'm gonna click on the layer again. It's important to do that, not the gradient mask. And then go up to the filters and go to blur and lens blur. This one is wonderful. You can just paint on your layer mask where you want things to be blurred. And then if you go over here to the source and use your layer mask, it will hopefully load. But, okay, see that did the inverse of what I was kind of imagining, but you can just do the invert. And boom, now there's like a bunch more depth. I'm gonna turn down the radius a little bit. That controls like the size, I guess, like the amount of the blur. I don't know the technical way to put these things. And then I don't like that, so goodbye. But now, it's got some depth. I want to add some glows now. So I'm gonna go to my brush. And press Option or Alt to select the eyedropper. And I'm just gonna pull some of those yellows. I'm on a layer. New one. <laughs> Capacity. I should have done that, but I didn't. Anyway, new layer. I use the brackets to size the brush up and down. Just kind of paint in some glow. I'm all about atmosphere. When I'm taking photos, my favorite is just to do it at night and like get a fog machine and a bunch of lights. I don't know, it feels more like cinematic in a way, I suppose. I'm gonna pull some of the greens now. Okay, 
I'm going new layer. I think I'm gonna put that yellow one I did first above it all. Can you even see it? Is it a wasted layer? No, you can see it. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna turn it on. New layer. I'm gonna do the red a little bit. I like that. Actually, I'm gonna do the red below literally everything. Because why not? Layers are tight. I recommend you use them. It's all just about fucking around, trying an idea. You got command control Z, so you can just say the idea sucks when you realize it's horrible, because it likely is. But <laughs> once you get the good idea, it's like, oh, sick. That's awesome. Also, it probably, like, I'm saying my ideas are usually bad. I'm not saying your ideas are probably going to be bad. Sorry, that came across a little bit rude. Okay, I got a new layer, and I'm doing reds above. But it's a little bit, like, not the vibe, so I'm going to change the blend mode to lighten, so it doesn't just, like, interfere with the colors that are already there. I'm also going to do one of just normal, because what is this dark shit going on? So at this point, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing. Um, so if you're like watching me and you're like, oh, wow, how's he, like, what's he like doing? It's like, I don't know either, you know? satisfied enough with it <laughs> but like it's really just a whole thing of I think I've said it like 20 times now but just messing around not forcing yourself into any one direction you know like <sighs> it's too late now I was trying to think of a good One Direction slash Harry Styles joke. I failed myself, my country, my family. Fucking disaster. <laughs> okay, so. Now it's way crazier. If you want to do layers in groups, you can. I, I just am really unorganized. But just to show you the difference. Nope, I messed up. That was a horrible, I'm a failure. And don't worry about it. Anyway, you know there's a difference. <laughs> Boom, painting, it's sick. Highly recommend. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some textures. I will put the link in the description of my favorite textures. They're by Merrick Davis, and <clears throat> I use them quite a bit. I also like to just take pictures on my phone when I'm like walking around if I see something. It's just texture. It doesn't, it just has to look interesting to you, you know? Like, whatever you like. Just follow your style, follow your eye, whatever. Anyway, sorry. Nope, not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it like this. So. There's all sorts of shit in here. 
highly recommend them. Great, very versatile. There's a lot of light leaks and such. Maybe I'll throw one of those in too. I can't remember how much they cost. They're pretty affordable and it is worth investing in good things, honestly. Okay, so I have some textures. I'm gonna group all these because I don't like them. They're visually in my way. So I'm gonna start with this one and usually with light leaks, I just go straight to screen. I think that's just the best blend mode makes the most sense, you know, because it's only light, so screen lets in just the light values. I like it there. Cool. See, um, his shit made my shit way better. So, collaboration's key. <laughs> like, what? Mine was garbage, and now it's kind of cool. It's trash. Kind of okay. okay. Blend modes are everything, by the way. If you don't know about blend modes, just go to the blend modes and then fuck with them, and then you'll know about them. They're sick. Also, layering. Can't stress enough how important it is to just fuck around with it and see what you like. Personally, I think screen, lighten. I don't even know if you can see that. <laughs> but screen, lighten, and then difference are probably my most used. I don't like this one. That was a, not a good texture for this one. But this will be cool with difference. It just like takes, I don't know what it does. It takes the invert. It, it takes the light values on the layer that you're changing the difference and then it inverts those. In a way, I don't know. Eh. Voila, that's what it does. <laughs> I went to school for graphic design for one year. So I know things. Okay, so that's cool, but you know, it's really washed out. Not a big fan of how washed out it is. I love the band, as in the artist washed out. I think his music's amazing, highly recommend, but this is too washed out for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that whole like duplicate all layers and merge them into one thing. And then I finish every single one of my digital art pieces with the camera raw filter. It's basically just Lightroom built into Photoshop. Um, if you don't use Lightroom, that's okay. You use camera raw. It's just like photo editing software. And if you know about music, I think of like all of this down here, this stuff. It's like recording and mixing and then you bring it into here and it's like mastering and it's just bringing everything out nice. So I just fuck around with it. I don't really like have a plan in mind. Usually I just do it and I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I like how that looks. I don't like how that looks. And I just take it further and further into a direction that I like. It's just about developing your eye through doing and observing the world and then just following that there's no rules to this shit like i like contrast i like high saturation some people might like it black and white better but to me fuck gray you know i'm not a big fan of gray <laughs> Yeah, so, 
That's looking all right in this department, I think. Let me turn the exposure down. Ooh, that's fun. Cool. That is dramatic. <laughs> I like balls. That is in your face. Curves are sick. Um, basically, if you don't know about curves, down here is your dark value, and up here is your light value, and so this is like your mid-tones, and you're basically, you can make them brighter or darker, and it's just really nice to be able to selectively change the light values of your piece. I think, like, look at how much different, like significantly different with just one single move. So definitely use curves. Probably the, like if you only had one photo editing tool, it would be this. And really like, I just mess around with it. I don't know in, like I'm not, trying to do something. <laughs> See, I thought I liked that, but I think I just like it dark more. And then here you can change like the different channels. So like, here's all the reds, more red. Ooh, I do like more red. Do I though? Do I like more red right now? Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> just, just doing it. Just, di di just dive in. Just do it. Shia LaBeouf slash Nike collab this shit. Drama. Like, most of the time I spend on my designs is honestly just messing with, like, the color in this camera raw filter thing. Because I just feel like that's where you can invoke the most mood. Like, if you set up everything right, like, look how wild this looks now. And before it was just, like, blurry with some texture. And it just totally transforms the piece. I don't, I think developing your like final processing will help make your pieces stand out so much more. Like getting that texture, getting that kind of like analog y, like organic feel. I don't know, that just appeals to people, I think. It's just a nice vibe. Another huge thing I do is the hue saturation adjustments. It's this one. Gee whiz, do I like it. <laughs> it just allows you to, okay, like that one's not very, but if you look in the like S, you kind of, I'll do a different knob. It just allows you to shift the tones of each like major hue or shift the hue, I guess, of each major hue. And this is probably the biggest thing I use to just keep my work cohesive as a whole. I don't know. I'm just very particular about what colors I like. And so every piece I have basically falls into the same color palette, just with 
different dominant hues, I suppose. So change the saturation of each, which is great. Like, oh, what? I like that because for some reason, the way I have the curve set up, it makes it so there's purple if I desaturate the orange. So like what? The depth is so much better now. <laughs> and I did not know. I had no plan there. I'm really not like, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at Photoshop, I can't deny. But I was gonna say, like, I'm not trying to, I don't know, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> this is probably the most ridiculously, unnecessarily long and terrible tutorial you've watched yet, so. You're welcome. And then the luminescence, which is like the lightness or darkness of each value. Love a little luminescence. Like, hello. Hello, contrast. I am a big fan of contrast. I don't know if I said that already. Like what? Now it looks like I made a shadow there when I was doing it. Like if you saw this, you'd think I like painted a shadow, but I didn't. It's just the purple. I'm like, oh, I like when the purple's dark. <laughs> So that's pretty much, no, nah, actually I'm gonna add some split toning. So this is pretty easy to see. It just like overlays a color over <clears throat> all the highlights. And then down here you can overlay a different color over all the shadows. And it's just a nice way to kind of bring things together, I guess, at times. like. Yeah, so before it was like kind of like, not all the colors were perfectly, like I wasn't a big fan of the color palette 100%. I liked it overall, but now I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't usually mess with these. I'll usually add some grain, even though there's already so much. If you add a little bit more. You might not be able to see it, <laughs> but I don't know. I like grain. I like texture. How do I, what the heck? Okay. <clears throat> wow. So that's what it looks like now. That's pretty much good to go. I'll just like mess with other things to see if like, oh, what if I like what happens? My favorite thing about digital art is you can always undo, which means you can literally try whatever you want and there's no consequence. What a time to be alive. Okay. Um, yeah, you can also save your presets if you like what you did. I have a few down here. But yeah, camera raw, it is pretty neat. I'm gonna turn the saturation down a little bit now that I've done all that, just to see what happens. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I 
that makes me satisfied. So, went from that to that. So now you know how to do what I do. So, go do it. <laughs> also, make sure to like and subscribe, follow me on Spotify, listen to me on Apple Music, etc., etc. Thank you so much.